why are those two always late? Dan and Jose are in their own world. Yeah, and if they weren't longtime friends, I'd kick them off the crew. <laughs> hey, as long as we have a minute, can I talk to you about the next show idea for our channel? Go for it. I've been researching this dope location that I scouted yesterday. Yeah? There's this abandoned prison not too far that seems like it could be an awesome place for us to film. All right, I'm guessing a lot of history? Tons. It kept the worst murderers and criminals in the country. Totally a max security prison. It's been abandoned for years, decades. Oh, interesting. I mean, it was the worst of the worst. They even say it's haunted by some of the most evil killers. I see where this is going. Jess, how many times have we been over this? Okay, Urban and Abandoned is a show about urban explorers, not ghost hunters. Okay, that shit, that, that's not real. Yo, people watch that shit. More people than are watching us just break into abandoned buildings that may have some tiny interesting history. Our show is about the mystery. The tension of getting in there, looking for what we can find, and dealing with obstacles while we tell the story of the place. Okay, we're explorers. We're not fake spook hunters. <sighs> Marcus, I... I saw those papers on your dining room table yesterday. What papers? You know what I'm talking about. Reclosure papers. Those? Yes. Your mom needs money and fast. Yeah. If we dial up the show, you could get sponsors. And my cousin knows all about that stuff. Look, I don't know or care about any of that Halloween crap, okay? Our show is going to stick to the thrill of, of exploring these abandoned buildings. But I know a little about the occult. I read about it. Oh, here it's they are. Oh, and good, they're flashing their brights. Yeah, let's let everyone know we're here. <laughs> let's just get this one done. All right, why don't we meet tomorrow to go over the deeds? Sounds like a plan. Hey! You have my backpack, Jose? Damn. What the hell blew through here? <laughs> Looks like someone had a party. <laughs> Damn! Yo, check out this coffin. Oh. I dare you to open it. Whoa! Yo, I hate rats. What do you think was gonna be in there? Some leftover decomposing body? Just a couple of rats looking for some food. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think Jose could use a couple new pets. What do you think, Jess? <laughs> I think you're right. No, hell no, 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 stop, what's up, Marcus, stop. I, get, those, get those things away from me. Oh, I think the fat one just winked at you. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start in here and then work our way to the other main rooms. Don't forget to get a lot of B-roll. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Born ready, let's do it. The Van Owens funeral home closed down 10 years ago without warning, and after 60 years, Michael Van Owen, last of the Van Owens, died of mass in- Did you hear that? Yes. That better not be the cops. Let's check it out. Be ready to bolt. You think he came from up there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Stay close. Hey you guys, there's no one here. Gotcha! Jesus! Jackson. Jackson, what the hell are you doing here, man? <laughs> Looks like scaring the crap out of you. Hey, look, it's Marcus in the peanut gallery. <laughs> I thought I smelled cheap cologne. And cheap tricks. 
Someone's just pissed because we got here first. That's too bad. So sad. Hey, we just filmed all of this shit, and we're about to post it tonight. <laughs> Looks like y'all get sloppy seconds. Boom. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. You know what, guys? I'm actually not too worried because we have seen their show. Oh. This has been another episode of Crazy Abandoned Places, so don't forget to subscribe and boop, boop. Hit that like button below. Seriously? Come on, Marcus, these clowns are just wasting our time. Hey, princess. <laughs> Slime. All right. Hey, let's bounce. Yeah, probably a good idea. Prick. See ya. Now that was dope, right? <laughs> oh, uh, Jess, when do we get to see the church footage? Not sure. Marcus wanted to edit that one. Oh, yeah, I finished editing it earlier. I'll post it on our page tonight. Could you take that? Oh. I'll meet you guys in the car. One sec. Hey, Cassie, how you doing? I'm good, Marcus. How did filming go tonight? Yeah, it went well. Thanks for asking. We actually just wrapped in this abandoned funeral home. It was a little creepy. We actually, we had a run-in with another group, which was unexpected, but, you know, we shrugged it off and got her done. You're still coming by tomorrow afternoon, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm excited to be a part of the group. Yeah, well, you said you want to be an Urban Xer, and the crew's psyched to meet you. Yeah, you know, if you want to come by around 1, then we can fill you in on the next location. So, the next one, is that the prison you mentioned? Can't wait to hear all about it. <laughs> Thanks again for this opportunity. You have no idea what it means to me. Yeah. Are you sure you're up for this? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Cool. We will see you at one. All right, bye. Cookies. Not the cookies, idiot. Look. Damn. That's rough. Hey, what's up? Hey, Marcus. We're all inside. Come on in. Everyone? This is Cassie. Hey guys. Hey, I'm Jose Casanova. Down boy. Oh. I'm Jesse James. Oh, you mean like yep, the, like the outlaw? I'm Dan. Uh, just Dan. Hi, just Dan. <laughs> All right, that is everyone. Uh, we we're just about to get started here. Okay, let me pull it up. Rockland Heights Prison was built in 1858, with the exception of the new cell block that was added in the early 80s and was home to the worst killers in the country. They called it Hell's Half Acre. I got a feeling you're gonna tell us why. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> there were two prison riots. The worst was in 1988. That riot was started by two inmates that were both killers. To be exact, they were both serial killers. Damn. What happened then? Check this out. Today's riot ended in bloodshed, leaving 34 inmates dead. Nine prison guards were killed and countless others injured. 12 inmates escaped, including serial killer Martin Clay. Also known as Cannibal Clay, he brutally murdered 23 people, reportedly eating his victims afterwards. Uh, real Hannibal Lecter shit. And Eddie Richards, known as the Red Ripper, who used a hunting-style bowie knife to cut his victims, gruesomely painting the walls with their blood. All escaped inmates have been apprehended and brought back to the prison. According to the official report, Clay and Richards were responsible for the riot. They reportedly rushed the guards, along with other inmates, and used their own guns to execute them. The two killers are scheduled to be executed one day apart. This comes after intense public outcry and political pressure. Our hearts are with the families of these brave prison guards. This is Don Sullivan, reporting for Channel 4 News. Oh, holy shit! Damn, bro. Totally whacked.
Rockland Heights Prison eventually closed in 1992. Hey. You still in? I'm in. All right, now the really freaky stuff. According to eyewitnesses, the day each serial killer was executed, they found a detailed pentagram drawn on the ceilings of their cells. That can't be good. Demonic shit. Yo, Marcus, do you believe in El Diablo? You know, like, the devil? Nah, nah, it's all bullshit. Wait, if you don't believe in the devil, do you believe in God? Never met him. Wait, you really don't believe? My father died a year ago in a car accident while coming home. So, tell me what God would do that. So, I, uh, I think we're ready. Did the urban explorers also investigate the supernatural, like ghost hunters and stuff? No, we're exploring long forgotten places with a history and, and telling their story. And these ghost hunters, they try to find ghosts, which they never find, of course. And they like to use cheap tricks and gimmicks just to boost their ratings. Yeah, but it does boost their ratings. I mean, well, do you believe in ghosts? Look, we've been to a lot of crazy places, never seen one. What about you, Dan? I can't say I believe either. Well, I don't know, if you ask me, no I- No one did. <laughs> if you ask me, I think there's some shit out there that just can't be explained, so yeah, I think there is. How about you, Cassie? Do you believe in ghosts? I mean, yeah, I believe in God and I believe in ghosts exist too. So you believe in what you can't see? That's interesting. We will have to agree to disagree. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Mm, Bill Murray says it better. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to make this our best show and boost our ratings. What happens then? Well, the more subscriptions and more likes we get, the more the sponsors pay us more money. All right, guys, let's call it a day. All right, cool. Later, boss. Yeah, we'll see you. All right, see you tomorrow. Man. Peace. This will be our best show. We'll get sponsors and you can help your family. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Marcus. Hey. You got time for a little pizza with your dad? Oh, well, I'm actually meeting with Jesse soon, so. Pizza's already on the way. Um, okay. Yeah. Are those the pictures from the trip? Yep. Uh -uh. Looks like you and Jesse are getting serious. Yeah, we're having fun. If I could give you a little advice, the key to a great relationship is that you really listen to each other. Really hear what she says. Yeah. Well, she says she doesn't like it when I'm late, so I'm trying to work on that. Here. I want you to have this. Oh. Oh, Dad, no. That, it's a gift. Besides, it should help keep you on time. Thanks, Dad. So are you and Jesse starting that exploring thing? Urban exploring? Right. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. Just be careful. If something doesn't look safe, don't risk it. Yeah, for sure. If you ever find yourself lost. It's me. I will be right back. Uh, hey, pizza's here. Hey, Dad?
All right, point of no return, folks. Cut this lock and we're all criminals. Just stop. He says this every time. Hey, I'm just looking out for the lady here. The lady? I think what he's saying, Jesse, is that you're not a lady. Thanks, I know what he said. I'm fine. <laughs> there, it's done. You're all criminals. We're all criminals. That's what I said. This place is huge. You can't be here. It's not safe. This is a restricted area. You need to leave. It's okay. It's okay. We're a documentary film crew. We have some papers here to... I'm just... grabbing the papers. See? Here they are. All good and legal. We actually, uh, we had to get extra insurance to film here. No one should be here. Ever. I think we'll be okay. We're just going in for the night. We'll be back out in the morning. People have gone missing, son. Yeah, well, I'm not your son, and we're not going to be scared off so you can quit it. Come on, everyone. What was that? Tell me about it. He came out of nowhere. Yeah, Jess, I thought you checked this place and there wasn't a guard. I did, and there wasn't. I drove up the floor and nobody was here. Uh, legal paperwork? Marcus, what did you flash down? The, uh, the foreclosure papers on the house. Oh, man. You mean your house? Oh. Of course, his house. Whose else would it be? I'm truly sorry, Marcus. Hey, you know what's What's there to be sorry about? Let's just focus on getting the coverage we need and getting out of here, all right? Jess, you got that info for me? Yeah, right here. Uh, Cassie, do you need a camera? Oh, no, I got one. Gotta be prepared if I wanna be a part of the Urban Xers, right? Cool, nice. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll show you the ropes. Have you ever used one of those before? Uh, yeah, a few times. I mean, if you, uh, if you need any help working it, just, uh, just let me know. No, thanks, I'm good. With that, I'm gonna go set up the static cameras. Video Village will be in the chapel. Still don't know why we need them. Coverage, good buddy, for this live stream. Coverage. Hey, Jesse, what's this? Just in case. I thought we talked about this. I thought we said we're not gonna do any of this ghost crap. It's part of the history. Just in case you wanted to touch on it. Jess. You know, just in case you wanted to mention it, to turn it on its head and say it's not real and we're gonna prove it. We're proving it wrong just by being here, okay? We're not doing it. Okay, let's get the introduction to the location and our newest crew member, Cassie, and then we'll start exploring the other wings. Rolling. Hello again. I am Mad Marcus, and welcome back to Urban and Abandoned. We are here in the infamous Rockland Heights prison, and today we are joined by our new crew member, Cassie. Hey. Now, you may be asking yourselves, why is this prison so infamous? Well.
Did I scare you? Smartass, don't do that. Oh, wow, okay. Jose, you around? Over. Yeah, I'm here, Marcus. Over. Yeah, if you could just circle back, we could really use your help with something here. Over. Yeah, sure, I'll be right there. Over and out. Well, what can I say? I guess I'm in high demand. Yeah? Yeah. I'll walk with you. I was just on my way to film the next cell block. All right, come on.
All night vision cameras are set up. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Aaron, you didn't tell me Marcus hired actors. That's because he didn't. Then who's this guy? Ew. He doesn't have any money for actors. OMG. Do you see how many views they're getting? Well, whatever they're doing is working. I've got to text Sarah. You know what? Let's text everyone. Stan, does anyone copy? Anyone? Shit. Is anyone else here in the East Wing right now? The comm isn't working. Great. That occult stuff getting to you? I'm not making this up. I'm not saying you are. I saw someone. Or something at the end of the corridor. Probably just a shadow or something. Did you get it on camera? No, it disappeared right before I could get it. It's an it now. Don't look at me like that. Whoever it was, they were right over there. Do you think that there's another group here? I don't think so. Jess, you also didn't think that there was a security guard. I didn't see a guard during the location scout. How about this? We just both go down there at the same time. If there's anyone down there, we got numbers. Right. Strength in numbers. Right. Okay. All right. Aren't you going? I was waiting for you. Okay. I'm going, I'm going. <sighs> Hello? Anyone there? Kind of move quickly. Like the rig? You mean those hairless humanoids with their legs bent backwards? No. Yeah, well, it don't look like anyone else is here. Unless you think it's a ghost. I'm just trying to stay open-minded. Yeah, well, don't look like anyone else is here. Hope you're right. Hey! Look what I have found. <laughs> Alright, look. Oh, too bad it has a stain on it. What? You ass. <laughs> Tell me you got that. <laughs> oh, I got it all right. <laughs> you ass. Did you find Richard's cell? Yeah. So, keep your eyes peeled. I saw something. Really? I don't know what it was. Dan said maybe the rake. <laughs> did Dan see it? The rake? Did Dan see it? No, Dan did not see it. Can everyone check your comms, please? We're getting the interference. Dan, you're a dork. Over. <laughs> Must be in just certain parts of the prison. Noted. All right, let's head to Richard's cell. What's the rake? I'll tell you as we walk. Where's the cell? Uh, it's right down here at the end of the cell block. All right. Let's 
creepy. This isn't creepy. I know, right? All right, here it is, Eddie Richards. All right. Let's have you two in there with me. I'm going to set up right on the back wall there. You ready? Rolling. <clears throat> this is where Red Ripper Eddie Richards spent his last days on Earth. Him and Martin Clay were executed within one day of each other. Now, it's said that both Clay and Richards had painted detailed pentagrams on the ceilings of their cells. <laughs> but as you can see, there's no satanic symbols, there's no ghosts, nothing. Oh, shit, Marcus. Shit, man, you've got to see this. Ah, ha, ha, very funny. I'm not joking around, man, look. This is messed up. I'm out. What is it? Shit, how are you seeing this? Uh, just, just turn on your night vision. It's Latin. Ad mortem. That means pertaining to death. There's got to be an explanation. Marcus, how do you explain this? Somebody help me get the gear in the chapel. Hell no. Marcus, it's time to go. Please. Yeah. Yeah, grab the gear. We're blowing. Dude, wait for us! Hey, what the hell, man? Sorry, didn't see you there. Are you okay, kid? Yeah, I am now. I'm Jose Casanova. Jose, not the time. What are you doing here? Could I ask you the same thing? We're doing a show for YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, we're live streaming this whole site. <laughs> Whatever you say. Hey, Steve. There's people here. You never answer my question. We're the ghost getters. The what? The ghost getters? Never heard of us? We're not syndicated yet. It's a play on words. We get ghosts. Oh, that's... That's <laughs> terrible. Whatever, kid. Who are they? Oh, hey, hey, point that thing somewhere else. Sorry. Jess, you watch a lot of this crap. You ever heard of these guys before? Maybe. They're vaguely familiar. It's probably because we're not syndicated yet. We're not syndicated yet. You said that. This is probably who you saw before. Yes, yeah, so you're the ones messing with us, right? You're the ones that did all that stuff to Richard's cell? What do you mean? Like, don't try and deny it, okay? You must have had a ghost box somewhere or something. I don't like your tone, kid. Do you have any other people with you? Any hidden cameras, lights, rigs, anything like that? Does it look like we have the budget for that kind of operation? What's the matter? You afraid of a ghost? What kind of ghost hunters are you? We're not ghost hunters. We're urban explorers. <laughs> well, this has been a nice chat, but we have a job to do. Just stay out of our way. Uh, no, you stay out of our way. We were here first. I doubt that. We've been here all day. You know, maybe I should call the cops. Nice phone, bro. Thanks. Look, we have permits. Do you? Okay, we are wasting time. Let's just stay out of each other's way, okay? Guys, come on. So we're leaving them? No, they were the ones messing with us. What? What do you mean? Yeah, it was a setup for their little show. Look, they were probably using some paint on the ceiling that only shows up with night vision. You really think so? Look, guys, I'm not staying here any longer than I have to. Okay, Dan, when you were setting up, did you notice anything strange, anything not normal? Define normal. I don't know, something that they could have used to fake that. I don't know how they would fake it. It's not my wheelhouse, but did you see the equipment they were using? It was like really old school. It's all very creepy, Marcus. I thought you were into this ghost hunting stuff. Yeah, but this is... 
You're filming this? Might as well get all the footage we can. Now is not the time. The audience loves drama. Stop filming. We've got enough footage. Okay. It's off. Thank you. Cassie? You okay? I'm good. That was pretty crazy back there, right? You give me more thought on to what you read back there? What do you mean? Like, any more insight on why it was up there or what's going on? No. You're still filming? No. Yes, you are. I see you. I'm recording. not. Can you just... Uh, uh, hold up, hold up. What's that? What's that? Why is that moving? Don't! I'm just Don't gonna... Touch. Look, it was just the wind or gravity or something. Wind? In here? Okay, well, it's definitely not ghosts or magic. What the hell? Did that door just slam on its own? You all saw that, right? Okay, okay, look, it's just those ghost getter guys doing shit for their ratings. It's pathetic. Where's Jose? Damn it! Jose! Jose, stop being a loser and come back! We can't leave without you! Or who knows, maybe we will! Probably just headed for the front. Let's just go meet up with him. Guys. Guys, can you hear me? Damn it. I think I took the wrong turn. Hello? Gotta be down here. Oh shit. Shit! Shouldn't have ran, Jose. Guys? Can you hear me? This is the right way. I'm sure. It's a huge place. Yeah, not to mention the underground tunnels that go for miles. Hold up. Let me try to find a floor plan of this place online. I'm not getting any coverage here. Do any of us have signal? Call him. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. I got a phone in my hand. Might as well use it. That's his actual voicemail? Jose, you know who this is and stop screwing around. Call any of us back immediately. Do any of us have signal? No. Nope. Dan, any signal? Uh, no. And there's another thing. It says it's 5 a.m. It can't be. We haven't been here that long. Mine says the same thing. We should be getting some sunlight soon. Well, whatever is messing with the comms is just messing with your digital clocks. It doesn't work that way, Marcus. Neither does time. <laughs> those Ghost Getter guys certainly seem to have signal. I'm surprised that those phones can still get any service. Well, let's just keep moving then. Where? Well, this place isn't a loop. There's an end. And where there's an end, there's a way out. Great plan. Did you hear that? That sounds like Jose.
fuck? Help! Somebody! Help! Help! Do you know how to get there from here? Uh, yes. No! Guys! No! No! off the grid. Why is he wearing a prison jumpsuit? Let's get him out of this thing. He's got a faint pulse and shallow breath. Help me. Help me get him up. Dan! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Damn it. We need to find a place to put him while we figure out what's going on here and get help. Something is really wrong with this place. It's something unnatural. I can feel it. Come on, Jesse. Someone's just screwing with us. I'm no electrician, but what happened back there shouldn't be possible. Yeah, you're right. You're not an electrician, and neither am I. So we don't know what parts of this place are on the grid or not. Cassie? Hello? Did Marcus write this crap? I have no idea. Damn, now is it a million views? Oh, this is getting wild, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that? We were just chased down the hall by something. Cassie saw it first. Cassie. Cassie. Cassie, what do you think you saw? It was probably just some psychotic homeless guy. Psychotic homeless guy? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. What? Jesse, can you doll out? No, I can't get 911. Even if you can't get service, you should still be able to ping to other providers. It's not a matter of provider. Something's blocking all service here. Well, it's probably just the masonry and steel. Let me try. Yeah, yeah, nothing. If we get to the exercise yard, we can get service. Well, we might as well go for the front door. If we can find it again. Well, this place is huge. There's got to be another exit somewhere. Or one of us could go get help and come back, so we're not moving him when we don't have to. Whatever, but we shouldn't be going out there by ourselves. Not one by one. Since no one is going to say anything, I will. Jose is wearing a prison jumpsuit, for Christ's sake. Can someone please explain that to me? Someone put him in that chair. We sure as hell. Where did he go? Is that blood? Jose! Jose? You 
you left him? I can't believe you left him. Look, I, I, I tried. There was nothing I could do. You're the one that threatened to leave him before. That was before. And it was only a threat. I, I wasn't going to do it. Fuck, I feel so powerless. Oh, we gotta go get him. Jesse. He's our friend. Jesse, don't. Why not? Because he's dead. Because that guy has him. He was already in bad shape. Don't touch it. I need to help him. If that thing gets in here, it's gonna be your fault. It's not a thing. And now she speaks. That was Cannibal Clay. He's different, but I'm sure it was him. And the one in the hall, that was Eddie Richards. Look, it doesn't matter. We need to find a way out of here. Or board this place up so tight that nothing can get in. That's the stupidest thing you've said all day. Like that worked so well the last time. He didn't get in. Matter of opinion. He's not human, you guys. He doesn't play by the same rule. Oh, come on. That's crazy. She's right. It's Clay. Or was him. Do you, do you guys hear yourselves? These guys were executed in 1988. Explain to me why they resemble Clay and Richards. We know that staying here is not an option. No, this place is good. It's defensible. Defensible? This place is wide open. And what are you going to defend hey, yourself hey, with? Hey, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm calm. Just let me see if I can get a signal. It's no use. Since it's 1130. That sounds about right. In the morning, Marcus! My phone too. We should be getting some sunlight. No, 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 your phones, they're just screwed up. Yeah, just like your sense of direction. Look, I don't see you stepping up to the plate, Dan. Because you're so freaking controlling! Not helping, guys! Not helping! Look, if we can reach the exercise yard, I can cut the gate using the bolt clippers, and we're out of here. If we reach the front, all the better. Now that sounds like an actual plan. Oh, I'm so glad you approve. But look, we're not going back that way. There's another way out over there. It's all clear on my end. Defensible my ass. This section looks familiar. Yeah, we're really close to base camp. Which should put us near the front gate. You guys hear that? What? I don't hear it now. That, that, do you hear that? I definitely heard it that time. They didn't deserve this. It can't come in here. This is a place of worship. It was. Besides, what does that matter? If these, these, these psychos want in, they're gonna get in. It's still consecrated ground. Don't you get it yet, Marcus? If these aren't some psychotic guys. Do you think people can, can crawl on the ceiling, Marcus? Okay, Jesse, okay. These aren't some psychos running around and killing our friends. You know, I, I don't know what they are. Is that what you want me to say? I know this is a lot to take in for all of us right now. 
The important thing is that we stick together. Maybe we can use these cameras to find a way out. At least get an idea of what's going on out there. Did Dan set this up to live stream the whole event? Yeah, he was streaming it. We can use it to call for help. If anyone's watching. Stop being so pessimistic. Force of habit. Do you think that's the Red River? I don't want to find out. Why isn't he just coming in here? Like I said, this is a place of worship. God won't let him in. At least he stopped trying to get in. So what now? I don't know. Wait it out till sunrise? Uh, well, if you believe our phones, it should already be daytime. Something is messing with our phones and the walkies. Yeah, it's this prison. It's, it's screwing with the time. Then why is my watch still working? I don't know. None of this shit makes any sense. I wish we had never come here. This place is just wrong. We're gonna get out of here, okay? But what if that thing gets in here? Look, I'm not saying that I agree with Cassie, but it obviously doesn't seem to want to get in here that bad. Maybe it got its fill? <laughs> that thought makes me sick. Let's just be ready to bolt when the time comes. How do you work this thing? Here. Watch this. Marcus. What is it? That's... Richard Sell. The Red Ripper himself. Grandpa. Grandpa? She... she didn't just say that. Wait. Wait, what? Tell me she didn't just say that. Look, I can explain, okay? You set us up! I didn't, you were already coming here. He's looking at us. He knows we're here and he's gonna come in here and it's all your fault. Hit me if it'll make you feel better, but it's not gonna change anything. Nah, you're not worth it. He can't come in here. Yeah, you said that. He has too much sin. Jesus. I thought you'd be the one to understand, to believe. And why is that? I don't know, you just seem like the type of person to Believe in these ghosts and monsters. Even if you never saw them, you just took it on faith. And, and what, now that you've seen them, you don't believe? I like the stories, that's all. And what if these monsters do exist? Don't you want to see the other side, the parallel side? So what, you're gonna offer us up to your goddamn grandfather? Or... Hardly. Look, I just want answers. Answers? I suppose you got them. Not the ones I wanted. You can stay here and wait for your grandpa. We're leaving. Marcus. Maybe she's right. Please. The cannibal didn't enter. I can't leave without you. 
Look, I'm not saying that there's a, a god, but this sure has proven that there are evil beings. Can't cast a shadow without light? Cannibal didn't come in. Okay. But if that Red Ripper dude comes waltzing in here, all bets are off. The ghost getters are still out there. What? What are they doing there? Cannibal Clay South. Don't they see Dan? They are, don't see him or he's not there. Cannibal must have moved his body or just eaten it whole. Nothing here makes any damn sense. We gotta warn them. How are we gonna do that? I thought we weren't leaving this spot until morning. Maybe we can signal them using the camera lights? If we can, uh, I don't know how. Dan would know. Maybe we can turn them off remotely and then back on. Maybe they'll notice the cameras then. Makes sense. If they notice it, and I don't think we can do that remotely. The comms. They've got to be on one of these frequencies. Hello? Hello? Even if you could find which one they're operating on, we couldn't talk to each other in here. Yeah, well, at least I'm trying something. Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello? Hello? Jose? Hello? Marcus, is that you? Yeah, 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 it's me. How are you? What, you got away from that thing? I'm cold. So cold. Jose? Lost a lot of blood. Why did you leave me, Jesse? I didn't want to. Where are you? I don't know. What's around you? Bars. A cell block? How did he get up there? Hang on, we're trying to find you. Is that him? Jose, we think we found you. Can you give us a sign? <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Is that Richard's cell? I think so. We're gonna come get you. Stay put. Are you sure that's a good idea? He's one of us. Something seems off. You're right. But we gotta try. Look, you stay here if you want. Whoa, easy kid. You don't want to do anything rash now. You guys should get out of here. Wait a minute, we have every right to be here. Even more than you do. Oh, you again. Haven't you seen all the crazy shit going on around here? What crazy shit? We haven't gotten much footage of anything yet. People are dying. Dying, what do you mean? Our friends were attacked. Attacked by who? By the ghosts that occupy this place. That's rare. Ghosts don't usually attack people. Usually they can't. Not enough energy. Look, this is serious. A friend of ours is badly hurt. Hurt, you say? Yeah, so let us through. Sounds like you could use some help. Marissa? Yeah, boss. You got that first aid kit? Yeah, just a second. Hey, look, we can't wait. Got it. Thanks. Where did the attack happen? In Richard's cell block. Let's go. So, you said you were attacked. Yes. And you said it was ghost. That must have been a strong spirit to have that much kinetic energy. They're very strong. They made a pact with the devil. You don't mean... Clay and Richards. <laughs> They're the main reason we're here. Wait, you guys haven't seen them yet? Oh my god, you got them on camera? Got more than we wanted. You mind sharing the footage? Are you fucking kidding me? Our friends are dead. It's just, they're the main reason we're here. I mean, we haven't gotten anything substantial. This place is a hotbed ever since they were executed 10 years ago. They had to close the place down six years ago. There were so many problems. What'd you say? They had to close the place down because there were so many problems. How long ago? The prison closed down six years ago. I'm surprised you don't know that. Research. It's important. The prison's been closed for much longer than that. Hell, it's been closed since before I was born. 
What are you talking about, kid? The kids are just messing with us, Mike. Are you kids high? Wait, what? What year is it? You can't be serious. You're starting to worry me, kid. It's 1998. No, it's not. See, that goes for you too. Come on. Jose. Jose? You all right, man? What the? Richards. Run, you two. You son of a bitch, you killed my friends. Yes, you know. Grandpa, why did you do what you did? Why did you abandon the family? You left us with that legacy. I'm your granddaughter, Cassie. Won't you talk to me, your own kin? Cassie, no! She's gone. We gotta keep going. Just in here. Closer, closer. We gotta lose that thing and get the hell out of here. It's just, just stay a minute. We're almost out of here. 
We can make it. Dan? Jose? I know, I know. This place is not going to take us. This place can burn in hell. It's all clear. Come on. This way. That's the way out. Go, come on, now, now! not to go in there. You should go and never come back. That place killed our friends. It should be burned or bombed or something. Wouldn't do any good. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you say. Let's just go, Marcus. Just, just the guard. Where's the guard? Never mind. Thanks, Marcus. For what? Getting us out of there. Yeah, well, I was just foul. Never mind. Let's just go home. What happens now? Where do we go from here? <clears throat> I don't know, Jesse. We're alive. Is that enough? Those were demons. The ghost getters, they were... 
They were just ghosts? I didn't believe any of that shit yesterday. I was so damn cocky. I got them killed, all right? Me, I did that, not you, me. No, if we'd never gone to that prison, I'd still be here. Nobody could have predicted what we saw or went through in that place. Nobody. But we came face to face with pure evil. What do we tell people? The truth. Okay, I'll call you back. Morning. Hey, Aaron. I didn't know you guys said actors. The live stream at the prison looked so real. Whoa! Now you're at 8 million views? I gotta go and tell mom. No, hey, hey, no. Don't wake her up. Are you kidding me? This is huge. Good on camera. You guys been here before? No. Hey, we're about to show you the ropes, baby. Ain't no way we're about to miss out on an opportunity like this. If Marcus and Justin go viral, so can we. Gonna ride that coattails, baby. Hey, we're about to pick up a few million viewers. <laughs> Bam! Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Go for Jackson, over. We're in Richard Selbach and Dan's camera is still here. Over. What do you mean Dan left his camera there? Over. Yeah, Dan left his camera. Over. Well, I mean, just take it down and put ours up so we can capture the magic. Over. <laughs> you mean rip them off. Over. Oh, come on, Ava. It's not the same thing. Over. Why would Dan leave his camera here? I don't know. What was that? I think I heard something. It's probably a raccoon or something. Anyway, where do you want us to set up the monitors? Over. Yes, uh, just set up in the... Jackson, do you copy? Over. I said set up. The mess hall, over. They can't hear me, why don't you try? Hey Kim, this is Dwayne. Can you hear me, over? Guys, this isn't funny. Can you respond? Over. Dude, this thing doesn't work. Thank you. 